Hi, I'm Evo Dan in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up an AI sling loading system. So I've placed my player down here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to paste ghost walk down. Then I'm gonna take an object that I know can be lifted in my box. Yep, so mention is get this ghost walk to take off, pick this up and then drop it off at another location. Now there's a few things you need to bear in mind here. One, can the object here be sling loaded? Nice and easy to test. If you were to place in the editor this and you can't sling load it yourself, the AI can't sling load it. The helicopter can't pick it up. It's the same. So make sure it's something that yeah, can be sling loaded because not everything can be sling loaded either because it's too heavy or because it's an object that's not set to be sling loaded. Okay. Same with the helicopters. Helicopters have limited lifting capacity. You know, the ghost orc will easily be able to pick this up. It has struggled to pick up, well, you wouldn't pick up a Hemet. It has struggled to pick up some cars, things like that. So you just got to bear that in mind a bit of, you know, thought. So I'm going to now start issuing waypoints for this helicopter. So here is my ghost orc. I'm going to go to F4 waypoints. I'm going to go lift cargo like this, place it here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to specify this cargo by simply dragging this over the little icon on the screen where the ammo box is. See my mouse cursor changes to the green, which assigns it to this object. Okay. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just say drop it off at this beach over here. So so the first one I've used lift cargo. The opposite obviously is drop cargo. So I'm going to get it to drop cargo there. Now you can add extra waypoints on this if you needed to. What I'll do is I'll show you this working. I'll but you could have a load of move waypoints beforehand. It comes and picks it up. Have it pick it up a load of more waypoints for moving, and then add the um. The drop cargo at the end and then have some more waypoints afterwards or whatever you need basically so i'll show you this now with it running so for quickness sake i'm going to speed this up in the editor by pressing equals to speed time up to four you'll see the helicopter take off go and check it some of the helicopters will tend to fly around in a circle like this one before it'll attempt to pick up the sling load. So you can see it is going around, round, and then you'll see it eventually do this come down, drop the sling on it, and off it goes. Now, what I'm going to do is quickly teleport to the beach. See our helicopters come in here with sling load. Now it's starting to approach the landing zone, which I set on this beach. So I'll come down. Like so. And it has dropped the cargo off and it'll fly off. If you gave it some extra waypoints. In this case, I haven't, so it's just going to hover here because there's no more waypoints. It's, as far as it's concerned, it's done. So, as you can see, very simple. Very effective. And of course, if I was to... Uh, Add a trigger, you can sync this up with a trigger so it just hovers until you want it to come and pick the cargo up, sync that trigger up, you know, put a condition, whatever condition you want, triggering on it. And then once you've synced that up like this, onto the actual waypoint marker, a bit difficult on the 2D map, so what we'll do so, sync it up to that. Waypoint activation. So, so you could trigger that off whenever you wanted this to be true. And then, so you could delay this in the mission so you could have the helicopter sit at base, for example, and the crew gets in once the players have got so far. Go pick this cargo box up and then drop it off near their location or something. Up to you. Anyway, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. 
If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching and bye.